His death is bringing new attention to just how widespread suicides are. To give you some perspective, in 2009, more people died from suicide than in car crashes. And 90% of people who commit suicide have a mental disorder at the time of their death. Few people talk about suicide prevention, though, until it is too late. But suicide prevention was the focus of a previously scheduled convention in San Marcos today. Organizers with the Texas Suicide Prevention Symposium know there is a lot of attention on the issue now following William's death. KXA and Sophia Bosile introduces us to one man who is using his own suicide attempt to prevent others. There are more than 800 people from across the state and the nation inside this room talking about the best practices when it comes to suicide prevention. And the one takeaway from this conference that they want people everywhere to know is that there is help and that you're not alone. Let's reach out to those people who we think may be in danger and just ask the words, are you okay? Is something wrong or can I help you? It's a set of questions Kevin Hines wished someone would have asked him 14 years ago. Everybody just walked by me on that bridge. I was standing there crying my eyes out, leaning over the rail, and nobody noticed. Kevin tried to kill himself and jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge, but he survived. It's not having a bad day. It's not being sad. It's being clinically in a place where you're so down that you contemplate hurting yourself. Kevin lives a severe bipolar disorder with psychotic features. Through diet, sleep, and medication, he's able to cope with it. He now travels to conferences like this one, using his experience to educate people on how to help. I believe that this life is the greatest gift we've ever been given. I know that in my heart. A message Kevin knows can be tough to grasp, but he wants others to know there is hope. Reporting from San Marcos, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. And we want you to know Travis County has a 24-hour crisis hotline available that offers support for people who may need help. That number is 512-472-HELP or 472-4357. It is important to point out the main reasons people don't seek treatment. This chart is from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It shows most people say they can't afford the cost of treatment. The next largest group thinks they can handle the problems on their own. The third largest group simply didn't know where to go. And several other responses showed people were worried about others finding out. One group is targeting those concerns. The director for Vets for Warriors says many veterans don't realize when they call their hotline, it's completely confidential. And callers will talk to someone who has faced similar challenges. Call, talk to a veteran. Talk to someone who's been where you are, who's served in missions, who's done the things you've done, the PCS moves, the training, the deployments. They've done all that as well and understand it. And online right now, you can find out more about the help that Vets for Warriors provides, including their toll-free number.